When I went to the conference in San Diego about writing for the web, our college was um, transitioning to a web content management system, so I think a lot of the information that we got there was very helpful with us on kind of teaching people how to write for, for the web since they will be taking more ownership in doing that. As Oh, there's just so many things. I mean, obviously collaborating with um, other librarians and, and uh, people in the field, um, other teachers, and also just learning about new materials and technology, and of course just feeling reju rejuvenated after going to a conference. Since last summer, I brought back one of the um, ideas and actually did a mini workshop for our own librarians here. And so that was really good to get to share one of the ideas that I thought we might be able to do. Um, and I have done that. I've actually gone to some of the other colleges, the Alamo Colleges, and actually done a, done a mini workshop on our lib guides that we do. 3,000 presentations over the course of four days. Wow. So there are multiple sessions running at multiple, multiple times every day. It starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. It doesn't end until 10 p.m. at night. And it runs from Wednesday to Saturday. And I went to sessions at almost every single time period, except for the 8 a.m., because I was up till 10 o'clock the night before. So um, it was, it's just very intense, a lot of fun people. It's an opportunity to geek out intellectually with a lot of other geeks and intellectuals. It's very fun. I mean, there were over 900 you know, workforce and CE professionals from all the states, plus I think uh, five different countries. And so I was surprised that when they look at benchmark practices and what's hot and what's trends as far as, you know, workforce CE courses, um, everybody was doing the same thing. So, um, you know, robotics, of course, um, some camp ideas for the youth are big, um, but just other trends um, that have to do with high demand, high growth jobs that impact San Antonio are also the same, uh, have the same impact up north or east. They actually had a lot of uh, speakers for us, uh, student speakers and graduate speakers, um, and they would just talk about the process of attaining your master's and your doctorate and just the whole graduate school, and I had never even considered graduate school, and now it's probably going to happen for me just because learning about other people's experiences. Skill set to the class, to the classroom, um, again, you know, uh, the students expect me to have a high level of, of education, so professional development allows me to go out and get that education that I need to, to be able to give them the training that they want. And um, so it's, it, it brings a lot back to the college, not just to students, but to staff and faculty. They can be confident to know that, you know, when they're getting training, they're getting some of the best training, you know, that there is to offer. So professional development opportunities, um, well let me just put it this way, I wouldn't be able to afford to go to all these different certifications and seminars and classes if I was to pay for it on my own. You know, I did that for some of the climbing classes, I paid for it out of pocket and there's no way I would have been able to afford this previous um, certification class. So it, it really allows me to bring a higher level of training back to students, faculty, and staff here at the college. Um, and so I think, you know, just learning how to fill everything out and, and what needs to be included. And it, again, my professional development activities were a little bit um, different than, say, you know, uh, asking for funding for a conference. I was asking for funding to go and have solo exhibitions as an artist, so there was a little bit, you know, that was muddy water for me trying to figure out well how do I couch that in uh, the professional development form that's that's available to me. Um, but it's been a wonderful process and I love the fact that the school is so supportive of professional development and that they value that uh, because I think it makes a big impact on me um, as an artist and me as a teacher.